Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Uh, Gary do a bio cleanup job today. He was an older gentleman, he was in his 80s. I guess he had a uh, abrupt heart attack. Bodily fluids and stuff kind of just ran out of his body, so it's stuff up there on a the hardwood floor that we have to uh, take care of. It's got a little bit on the walls. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, good yes, to see sir. you again. It's been nice a minute. Nice to be seen, man. Nice to be seen. I know it's been a while. You know, before we get started, I just want to give a special appreciation to all the people with Spalding Decon that's reached out to us as a company. Uh, we had, we got hit with a big wave of COVID, and uh, it kind of knocked out a lot of people and just the stuff that we're getting done here in the offices and outside the office. We haven't been having content, good content for you guys in videos, so we're back at it. We're back to, uh, you know, revamping and getting stuff uh, up and running for you guys. Good content, good videos for you guys. So that way, you know, you can continuously uh, keep enjoying what it is that we're doing and uh, watching and supporting us. So we, I just want to say thank you guys and I appreciate you guys reaching out and giving all the kind words and, and uh, just supporting us through this hard time of COVID. So Daddy, Daddy, where yes, sir. are we today? Where are we doing today? We are here in uh, the downtown area. Um, Tampa, uh, Gary, do a bio cleanup job today. So, do you know anything about the story? Is yes, is a it? guy, is older gentleman. He was in his 80s. I had talked to the uh, homeowner here, and he was the older guy. He was a military guy. That he, I guess, he had a abrupt heart attack, and it, I guess he just bodily fluids and stuff kind of just ran out of his body. So, it's stuff up there on a the hardwood floor that we have to uh, take care of. It's got a little bit on the walls. Uh, said he was there for about two days. Uh, she was saying two to three days what the police had told her and um, he had a bunch of ailments at the time um, he had a, he had his legs amputated you know due to you know the war and stuff of that nature but we're here to just do a quick clean up uh, knock it out on to the next job Step one gonna be fed. Indicating exactly where everything is. I can see it, but hey, you could be walking on top of it. So we definitely gotta indicate where all the bodily fluids are and the blood is located. So that way we can locate it, start using our solutions and our chemicals to pull up the bodily fluids up off the surface. So that way it's located. We initiated and penetrated it to start removing it from all the hard surfaces. Getting, with, uh, getting rid of all that. So first we got located. So all the areas that you're getting and seeing, that's bubbling up, that's going to be your blood and your bodily fluids and things of that nature. It's going to turn white. So we're probably going to have to take out from where my feet are or behind all here with the wood that's bubbling up. That's going to be your blood and your body fluid and things of that nature. It's going to turn white. You're probably going to have to cut all this out and get rid of it so that way we can locate if anything is hit the slug floor. Start doing the baseboard. Do the entryway, pop that, so that way it's going to be kind of smooth when you do it. 
start to install, do a perfect square, and we're going to go right here, just like that. And then just try to start pulling. straight to that line where you cut. Suicide Squad, it was okay. I actually got your girl in it. Got my girl in it? What's your girl? The, the played on the Wolf of Wall Street? Oh uh, yeah, Mar Margot Robbie. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Where's she from? Australia? Yeah. Big up to all my Australians out there. Oh yeah, you play basketball in Australia. Yeah, man, Melbourne, Australia. What up? Holla at your boy, Melbourne United. Holla at your boy. What are we cooking with? Hot grease. She working out. You know what I'm saying? She just needed to warm up. You know what I'm saying? She needed to get her muscles activated. She needed to get her shit going. Now she mad. Y'all done pissed her off. Y'all done pissed her off. Look at her how she holding that crowbar. This motherfucker want to hurt somebody. Almost done. So when we finish this, we'll take a little break, alright? You mad? Right now, I'm gonna take this suit. It feels like I've been standing in the rain for about five minutes. She drenched! It's not about strength. Is it technique? Yeah. Is that what they say? Yeah. Who told you that? Geechee? Yeah, Nietzsche. You study Geechee? Yeah, man. How long you been studying God Geechee? God is dead and we killed Geechee? Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Oh, Geechee. Hey. What? Geechee? The clothing? Yeah. Geechee. I knew you was bougie. I knew you was bougie. Do it again. Hard. Yep. Last one. Easy, easy. Just 
wrap it, tape it off. It's all in bio secure, you know, containment secure. Grab the duct tape and just tape this bag to that bag right there. And then where your feet are, tape that part of the bag to that one. So it's one good wrap. It's a ton deal, kid. It's trying. If you're not trying, finish the statement. If you're not trying, you're dying. Did I, did I get it right? Yeah. Once we wrap it, it ain't gonna move. That way we're not decontaminating anything in here. Ew. Hey, Fiona. Ah, uh, hey. Hey, Kennedy. Is there something that you need? Yeah, um, did you create a bunch of fake fan accounts to comment where's Fiona on our YouTube channel? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I tracked your IP address. The jig is up. All right, you got me. Well, you could have gone away with it if you used Atlas VPN. You're using too many acronyms. A virtual private network. It's essentially a tool that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location. Sounds like some fancy expensive hacker stuff. Well, actually, not even. Atlas VPN is currently running a huge discount on their three-year deal for just $1.39 a month. With a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's not going to last forever, so be sure to click the link in our description box. So, how does it work exactly? When you connect to a VPN server, your device is given a new IP and DNS address. All of the traffic is encrypted and routed towards the VPN server. When the traffic arrives at the server, the VPN server decrypts the information and allows all the traffic to access the desired destination. English, Kennedy. English, please. And make sure your information isn't going to anyone you don't want it to. You can also change the location of your server to anywhere in the world to get access to different websites and content that you might otherwise be restricted to in your area. You mean I could have British Netflix again? Well, yeah, exactly. The coolest part, though, is the data breach monitor feature. By inserting your email address, the tool scans the internet to see if it ended up in any recorded data breaches or data dumps that includes emails, names, passwords, and other sensitive information. Enabling notifications ensures that you are aware of such incidents, and it gives you a heads up to change your passwords before anyone has a chance to steal your accounts. Keep yourself protected, B. This world is crazy. What if it doesn't work for me? Atlas VPN is supported on any device and provides a 30-day money-back guarantee for every subscription purchase. All right, all that privacy stuff is great. But to be honest, you had me at British Netflix. <laughs> well, we all have our priorities. Don't forget, subscribe to the service soon. They're running the $1.39 per month for a three-year subscription for only a limited time. Click the link in the description below and remember, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so no pressure. Sounds good. Wait, in the description of what video? The one you're watching right now. Ooh. What? See? You're already back on YouTube. Bye, Fee. What?
take a little bit of rest and tell her to do that to you. I wish that we could cut the beans out to make it a whole lot easier. But since we, the people, the clients that's paying us right now, we're only supposed to tear out the subfloor and do the subfloor, which we disinfect, and locate all the bio, indicate the bio, then use our chemical part A to raise all the bio to the surface so that way we can peel it away, tear it away. But we don't own the carpet below us. If the people were home, I try to talk to them, see if we can do it, but then you have a whole ceiling in the in their house, and I don't know how they're going to feel about that. Hopefully, she hires us to do the downstairs. It'll be one easy process, but if not, I'd hate to cut a hole in the roof because you can see the bio right there, right there, right there, but it's not over here. But you can see the drywall starting to peel up through these cracks right here. This is the old house, man. But you know what they say about the old, old and very way to do you know what I'm talking about that's just what I heard I really that's just what I heard I, 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 I'm, I'm. so what's happening now Fed we're gonna spray get the rest of this up lay the wood down get up out of here bruh I'm gonna take this wood down I'm gonna cut this thing scrub everywhere with the part A that you had on the beam just scrub it down wipe that up um they gotta get with the person downstairs uh, so we can set up a, a estimate to do the downstairs and remove the drywall from the downstairs up instead of the downstairs instead of the upstairs down. So, so the bio is essentially on the ceiling from downstairs. Yeah, it's already penetrated. The bio's have penetrated. If you can see, it's got a couple of little stains right here on the drywall. So we're gonna have to cut that out. And they're gonna have to do that uh, once we seal it and everything. They're gonna have to cut it out from the bottom. So we'll figure it out. We always do. We'll figure it out. Ain't nothing we can't handle. Woo! They're gonna call you the Sandman now. You gotta get out. Yeah. Oh, come on, dog. I just don't know. I just don't know how to continue sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Still trying to come off. We might be doing this by hand, Shelby. <laughs>
said we can't move this on. She said we can't cut it out. So I'm trying to cut out as less as possible. Wrapping the day up today. Had a pretty rough day. Uh, anything that could go wrong went wrong. So uh, we found more bio leading into the downstairs. So we're gonna have to get with the client uh, this afternoon or tomorrow to see if we could go into his home and look at his ceiling to so make sure that we can, you know, get rid of the bio, clean that all up, repatch everything, relay plywood down, kills it, disinfect it again, and just you know, crush that whole situation in general. Uh, a little frustrating, but you know, we made it through the day. It's just day one. Have many more. I'm very blessed, very thankful to be here, be a part of Spot and Decon. So, this is a wrap for day one. See you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.